like nobody's listening to you. Uh, uh, that we as adults uh, thank you for coming forward. Uh, I don't look at it as a kind of, we, it's something you should be punished. It should be something you should be applauded and something we should support. So as a, again, as an elected official, I'm elected here also to uh, share my points of view. And my points of view is that this um, is a civic learning experience, that people will sh uh, shout out, that all the adults would hear, all these politicians would hear finally, but the kids who have to suffer this every day have to listen to hear gunfire when they talk about AR-15s being something that could, should be allowed, when they say that the uh, they're, they're worried that their Second Amendment rights is being attacked, and yet they're complacent when kids are being attacked. That, to me, is something that, as an elected school official, I can't take anymore. And so, to you, I look at you guys, even teachers who want to walk out as a civic uh, lesson. You're going to the green. It's a, to me, it's like a, a, a day trip to a, a historical site where the, uh, the uh, American Revolution did start. And I thank you for doing that, and I will support that. I don't, I don't know what... I don't even want to talk to a lawyer because to me, this is, to me, this is what I believe in, and I and I really do believe that uh, we, when politicians can say whatever they want without consequences, but yet when kids want to do something that affects them, and we say that you have to suffer the consequence, I don't agree with that. So thank you. Valerie Overton, 25 Emerson Gardens. So I would like to applaud you as well um, for your fantastic leadership. Um, a, a couple of thoughts. One is that the ACLU has put out a, um, a legal statement about the national walkout and indicated that from a constitutional standpoint, schools have the ability to discipline students for walking out up to the normal discipline that would they would incur um, as a result of missing class, but no more than that. So, I, um, it, and it is also possible to do less than that. So I think that what the administration has the ability to do is to decide what that uh, discipline will be from zero up to the point of whatever discipline would normally be for missing class. Um, and so I would just say that my hearing of what you're saying, um, Ms. Weinberg, is that you're not asking permission to do this walkout. You and your fellow students are going to walk out, whether you have permission or not. So um, I think that if the school system decides to support that in whatever way, by making a statement, that you um, support your First Amendment, right, that you applaud your civic engagement and your leadership and so on and so forth, I think that's great. If the administration could, can provide clarity on what discipline will happen, if any, that is very helpful too. Um, but I also agree that any students who participate, and I suspect that you'll have quite a lot more than 200, <laughs> um, do need to understand what the consequences will be if, if there are some. I am an example, like Pastor Brent, of someone who's been an activist since the 60s. I've participated in many civil rights movements for decades. I have been arrested for civil disobedience, spent time in jail, and done community service for civil disobedience for causes that I believe in. And I am so proud of you all for standing up for what you believe and doing the same. And so what I encourage is that for you guys to go ahead as you plan to walk out, regardless of what the consequences are, you folks in the administration will decide what those consequences are, if any. And the same goes for the teachers. So the teachers may decide to walk out regardless of what the consequences are. Um, if there's clarity beforehand on what the consequences will be, that will make the decision a lot easier for many of the teachers. So um, that way, more teachers will feel will be able to weigh kind of the the um, desire <coughs> to go with their conscience against what the consequences are. But I think, regardless, what I'm hearing is that there is a desire on the part of students and also teachers to walk out 
And that is a statement that they are wanting to make regardless of consequences. And what you folks have the ability to do is to decide how you're going to respond to that in terms of the narrative that you all express and what the administration will do from a disciplinary standpoint. Thank you.